Yo, yo, yo. I got an iPhone 7 Plus here with no backlight. No backlight. Can you see it or no? Well, you can Well, I can see it. There you go. Let's see. Let's see if I can get my ring light out of the way. There you go. You see it? No backlight. All right. So we're going to diagnose and repair this puppy. So first thing I'm going to do is try a new screen because... I don't see a whole lot of these 7 plus backlight problems and I just you know what let's, let's, the backlight filters are on the other side so we can't really check anything but let's just inspect the logic board real quick I don't see anything I don't see anything under, anything under a microscope so let's try our screen make sure that it's not a screen problem because it could just be the screen I don't need to plug that in. I should be able to see an Apple logo. Alright, so let's plug it in and let's see if we can see something on the screen again. I don't see anything on the screen now. Weird. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I see an Apple logo. Okay, it's backlight problem. So, let's get to work. And uh, let's do this. All right, let's uh, let's get to the XW tools and let's let's take a look and see what we're mucking with here. Okay. So this is the home button connector. This is the LCD connector. Uh, these are data. You can tell these are the data lines for the LCD. And uh, I'm gonna guess that the backlight is probably at the end somewhere. Um, that's my guess. Those are not it. There it is right there. So that's one, that's two, and as you can see, the backlight filter is on the back of the device. So you got you got a cat line here, you got an anode line here, you got a cat line here, you got a cat line here, anode line here, and cat line here. So First six pins with the middle pins being anode lines, okay? So uh, let's go to the microscope. And uh, there you go, there's a connector right there. So let's pick whatever that is on the in there real quick. Off. I don't know what the hell that was, but anyways, let's get a diode mode on the multimeter. And you know, let's just confirm that we do have a uh, anode pro uh, backlight problem, okay? So red to ground black to the pin 0.613 row L 0 0.614 0 0.614 OL 0 0.614 alright so we have two blown backlight filters confirmed via diode mode alright uh, so let's just disassemble this puppy place the backlight filters and we should be back in business I'll be back alright here we go we know we have two blown backlight filters whoa I think the backlight filter is disintegrated let's see look at this <laughs> the backlight filters blew out onto the charge port <laughs> I mean like see it it's burnt Look at that. Boom. That tells us what's wrong with it, huh? Both of them, yeah. Both of them blew, man. They either blew out and stuck on the charge port here. Let's see, can you see it now? Bam! Look at that, man. They don't mess around. You gotta wear goggles when you uh, muck with these things. Alright, so this will be easy. Um, we know exactly what's busted. right there so let's clean out all the black stuff first I like using a old C105105 tip because if you use a new tip you are gonna make them go bad quick so this is not a bad tip but it's just a little bit dull a little bit more dull than I like so I just like using these old tips to this will preserve the life of your uh, JVC tip so let's get all this black stuff out. Uh, 
And let's get my Q-tip here. Clean some of this gunk away. And let's get my regular tweezers. Get my regular tweezers here. I don't think I really need to do too much else here. The less, the better, I think. What's going on, man? Hold on. Where were we? I don't even know where we were. Um, I think we're replacing this thing, right? Okay. Somebody walked in, so we don't normally have walk-in customers. Uh, actually, we don't have any walk-in customers. But we do allow shops now to walk in and bring their stuff with them. And we actually offer a little bit of a discount for other shops that walk in here and drop off their stuff. Uh, no regular customers though, because regular customers always want to chat, and they always want their goods ASAP, um, just because they walked in, and we, we do have a queue here, we do have a line, and we like to try to stick to this uh, order as much as possible. Ah, uh, okay, where are we at? Uh, let's see, 6, 7 plus backlight filter. 7 plus backlight filter, okay, so this is a ferrite bead 33 ohm 0201 uh, filter. You can get this on digikey.com. Um, if you want to know the, if you want to get the exact link to the part, just go to microsoldering.com and click on parts and supplies and then common components and ICs and you will see a list of all the components and where, where to get them. I've made it easy because people uh, don't know where to get them from. Um, so I know I didn't know, it, know where to get them when I initially started so Hopefully it helps, and uh, I, I tell you what, I hate answering the same question over and over and over again. So once I get asked that a question, I, I try to put it down somewhere that's indexed via Google, and uh, you can find it e somewhat easily at least if you do some searching. So there's not really a whole lot here. Uh, uh, JVC makes it a million times easier to, to put this backlight filter on. Got it. Even with the hack the hacko tweezers, I mean it's just it's just not as easy, man. Uh, I don't even use hacko anymore because I get my job done a lot faster with these with the JVC tools. And that Hako pencil is pointless. So I think we are pretty much good here. Uh, let me just clean this up a little bit. The dirty Q-tip. This is super zoomed in, by the way. So you guys can see everything. Oh, all right, let's see. Let's get this thing and make sure we are good to go here. Make sure there's no bridges and touching stuff. Okay, so let's just make sure each side of this filter is not short to ground or anything. That's a negative. Okay, so we are good. No shorts to ground. Uh, let's go to diode mode again, and we will check the backlight uh, pins. And we should get 
We are back in business, guaranteed. So it's time to reassemble this thing. And if you want to watch the boredom, then you can because I will do this in front of you. And hopefully, no crotch picks. Sorry. I know I disappointed some of you guys, but nothing worse than staring at somebody's crotch in a video. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So, okay, reassemble. Uh, not that hard. Just make sure you get under the Wi-Fi, get this little get this little flappy thing above otherwise you will regret it because you have to disassemble everything again <laughs> ask me how I know although you can probably guess and that's it really uh, if you labeled everything good then you should have no problems reassembling this thing and I think you know what. Let's just let's plug this puppy in first, and, then, and make sure we got everything working. And then I'll just disconnect. Real, I'm just gonna plug it in real quick. Make sure I see a bright and shiny Apple logo. Okay. One of these days, like I'm gonna plug one of these in, and then it's like it's gonna blow up. So there you go, Apple logo, nice and clear. We are back in business. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Um, not too exciting. All right, let's see. You guys really want to witness this boredom? Just be careful with this camera because this camera is very expensive. It's about an $80 camera. Don't want to botch that. When I say I don't want to botch it, I'm going to tear it or something. Watch. Okay, there you go. Put the top in last. All right, we are almost in business here. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get these set screws in first. It's kind of hard to do this. Anyways, if you want to if you want to call it a day on this video, you can call it a day. I'm just gonna finish it up there though, because uh, if you've seen one of these put back together, you've seen a million of them. So it's not too exciting. Not too exciting at all, man. I am not doing anything special. I mean, there's no shortcut to this. Would help to have a magnetized tool. No, this one is not magnetized. I really hope there's nothing else wrong with it because I have not checked everything. But I think the odds of something 
something else logic board related or low. Alright. You're getting closer. So boring, right? This is so boring. But this is part of the deal. Part of the deal. Alright, let's see. Where are we at? I think I botched that. I think I was. Is that right? I think I was supposed to not put this on yet. Dang it. Let me do this just a little bit faster. Under, not under this damn scope light, because it's blocking me. But I have to get it on camera, so. And I think. Like, this is so. Well, I think we are in business. Have a logo. Wipe off the evidence. Wipe off the evidence. Definitely an aftermarket screen because I can see my fingerprints on it. Bad. Good news is that it booted up quickly, which uh, you know, on a seven seven plus, it's always a good thing. Because when it boot loops, that's when you have other issues. Anyways, looks like the home button works. Um, everything is good to go. Good to go. Alright, he's back in business, so there you go. iPhone 7 Plus backlight filter repair. Um, not too exciting.